Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with um, cryptography uh, package. So now I really want to show you a very, very cool feature. So let's say you have an employee who just left and they're going to a competitor and they have access to all your keys. So how do we handle that? So we're going to be looking at the multi furnit rotate feature. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do micro videos. So before we had our secret, uh, there we go, comes out and then we're able to decrypt it. But if you have these keys, you can look at it and read it but here is an awesome, awesome uh, feature. And you can read all previous messages. It's like software advances. Every new generation can read old generations, but old generations can't read new generations because they don't know about it. So this is how you handle it. So you create a new key, and then what you do is we'll, we'll stick with our multi here. So you create a multi two, and f dot multi we'll copy all this since my typing today is not great then we paste in our new key in front don't know why I typed keys key three all right then we take our multi Two, oh, we need to create a rotated. Rotated equals multi two dot rotate is here. Dir on multi two, and it is right here. So help multi two dot rotate it's all right so it rotates the message it's all right let's see where we are multi two rotated yep now we need to create rotated rotated equals multi two dot so, t2 dot rotate. There we go. And then pass it in secret. And then now we take multi2 dot decrypt. Rotated. Oops, if I just knew I've been having an issue with typing today. I don't think I slept well enough. So, this is what I want to show you. So, this took, even though we put a new key in, this has the capability of reading all old messages while encrypting and decrypting all new messages. So if the employee right here only had all the all the old keys, you would they would not be able they would be able to still see any old messages that were out there. Ooh, that's just the same information that they had, but they would no longer be able to read any new encrypted data. So there we go. I remember when I first ran across this, I thought this was so cool cuz I kind of never really understood what you would do in a situation, how would you handle uh, a time when you'd have an employee leave and they had access to all these things? Well, here you go. So please drop any comments, questions, any video requests down below, and please give this video a thumbs up if this is the type of stuff you like. And as always, please make sure you're joining that Discord down below. Stay in tuned until the end and checking out these videos. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. 
And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.